I welcome you from wherever you are viewing, wherever you are watching our virtual morning devotion. I want to welcome you and uh, pray that we walk together as we go through our day's devotion. To start us off, I would like to pray. Let us believe and pray. Lord, we thank you for this great day on Saturday that you've given us. And once again, Lord, we thank you for reminding us to start this day with uh, devoting our, ourselves through your word. Lord, make your word real for us. And would you, Father Lord, help us do what it reminds us to do and leave it. So we bless you as we start. Start with us. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Yes, our, the week has been, uh, we've been, uh, we, we narrowed down everything to the gifts of the Holy Spirit or uh, spiritual gifts for that matter. And this morning, as, as we continue thinking through the same, and as we come to the end of the week, I would like to give us a question, and in that question, then uh, make, have our meditation for the day. How can one discover his or her spiritual giftings? How can one discover his or her spiritual giftings? And uh, in uh, asking that question, first, let me, let me just say this. That is, it is possible that a believer would neglect uh, their spiritual gifts. A believer would uh, neglect his or her spiritual gifting. And Paul, that is why Paul, as he was writing to Timothy in uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verses 14, Paul writes this, Do not neglect the gift you have, which was given you by prophetic entrance when the council of elders laid their hands upon you. And so Paul is saying, that he's trying to, to remind uh, Timothy not to neglect his gift. In, in, in 2 Timothy chapter 1, 2 Timothy chapter 1, chapter 1 and verses 6, listen to what Paul says and tells Timothy, chapter, six, uh, chapter 1 and verse 6 says this, Hence I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you, rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of my hands. Hence I remind you to, re to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of my hand. Fan, fan into flame. Rekindle is fanning into flame the gift that God has gifted Timothy through the laying of, uh, of Paul's hand on him. And so it is biblical that believers should uh, discover and work their spiritual gifts. Believers should discover, but not only discovering, also work this spiritual gift. Since uh, the Holy Spirit is what, we, as we were saying, the Holy Spirit is the one that uh, dispenses, is the one who owns these gifts. As, he, as we discover these gifts, it's good to encourage ourselves this morning that we need to to, to work them out. We need to, to discover but also work these gifts as God has permitted us, as God has, has revealed this to us. Because uh, as we discover this uh, spiritual, I mean, the discovery of these spiritual gifts are out of uh, that spiritual experience that we have with God. Because you hear Paul is telling Timothy that, look, you know very well that I re that we should rekindle that, 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 that gift of God that is within you, that you got through, you got through laying of, of, of hands, of my hands on you, you know. Because, you know, uh, the relationship that was between Paul and, uh, and Timothy, you know, Timothy was discipled by Paul, and so there was some relationship that had culminated, relationship that... Uh, had been had, had also gotten approval from God Himself, relationship that caused the Spirit of God to dispense of these gifts upon upon Him, and so Paul is reminding him, reminding him that remember 
that uh, the spiritual gifting that you have came through through that 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 discipleship that you got from me and it was a spiritual experience that you had over time and so you got so rekindle it do not let do not let the fire of that gift to go down but again we have to always remind ourselves this that the fire of that gift that uh, had been uh, 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 that, that God had released on us would only go down if we cease to walk in obedience with God because as we allow the Holy Spirit to indwell us and, 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 and uh, to overflow within us, we would uh, respond with the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the revelation. The Holy Spirit will respond with the revelation of these gifts in our lives. He will reveal these gifts for us as we continue responding in, with, with, uh, with regards to allowing the Holy Spirit to fill us, even to, to over, overflow. We can try to understand spiritual gifting through maybe uh, for us to understand what gift we, we, we have or we possess or what gift has been dispensed on us. Uh, I, I would like to just give us a few thoughts that, are, that, that have come up with, you know, the kind of ministry we enjoy doing, you know, in, in, uh, in your congregation, that kind of ministry that ministry that you find yourself enjoy most and, and that you are, you are fruitful in, uh, basically that is, that is your, your area of gifting, you see, because uh, maybe, maybe you, you find it easy to teach and as you share in uh, teaching, you find uh, people edified and people enjoy your teaching, then that is, that is your area of teaching, I mean, that is your area of gifting. And uh, how can you discover? You will discover through these people whom you minister and how they get to enjoy your teachings. And so maybe teaching is your, 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 teaching is your area, and so you need to put a lot of emphasis. You need to fuel and to, to, to continue the fire, to rekindling the fire of that gift that God has given you. If at all you, are, you realize that uh, as you minister or as you, share, as, you, as you share the message of God with people, you find a, a group of people give their lives to Jesus, I mean, accept Jesus, accept the salvation of the Lord, then you are, your gifting is in the area of evangelism. And so you are an evangelist. And so you should rekindle this, this gift because we are talking about how do you discover, how do you discover your area of spiritual gifting? Or rather, we, one would be that person who invites people to, 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 to their, their homes, you invite them for, for a meal, even to stay. It doesn't bother you. They will stay there. You'll give them comfort that they require. I want to believe that your gifting is, has to do with hospitality. That is what you need to put a lot of emphasis and lay a lot of emphasis uh, to as you serve God, as you serve building the body, the body of, of Christ. You can confirm your gifting too through through, through local congregation, because you hear Paul speaking to, to Timothy, telling him that, look here, remember to, to, to rekindle that gift that you received through laying of hands, through discipleship. And you see, in our local congregations, this is where we interact with the leadership. We interact with, the, with, with believers in, 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 in this local uh, uh, congregation. What they think we can do better would also contribute, what we, they think we can do better in our contribution to, 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 to that place of worship. That is our area of gifting. And so we can confirm our giftings through this local congregation that we, we join. The leadership, they would, uh, they would uh, see our area of gifting and uh, they would help us to, to shape up even along that line. And I think as we think of this, all these things, all these things we are saying, be it uh, confirming through the area of uh, where you enjoy the ministry most, be it uh, confirmation through the, the congregation where you worship the, the elders and, and the congregants, one thing stands is that you have to step, step up or step out in faith and in obedience. That, that stands out, in obedience to God's word. 
as you step out in, in faith and obedience to God word, God's word, then he will uh, allow us, he will allow you to, in obedience, he will uh, release, he will dispense of this gift upon you. And as you receive that gift, you will continue his work that is instructing you to do. Since the gifts of the Holy Spirit operate through obedience, they operate through obedience to obedience and, and, and faith. That believer who is obedient, who has obedience, and who is uh, filled, or who is exercising faith, belief in God, that person is considered a believer who is filled, and uh, and so they will always receive these giftings of the Holy Spirit. So, how can we discover? How how can one dis discover his or her spiritual gifting? The question we have answered, and so it is. Uh, we I simply want to encourage us that let us walk in obedience to God. Let us walk in obedience to his word. Let us do the, the, the word of God. Let us live the word of God. Let us live in obedience to God's word. And uh, the overflow, the abundance of the spirit of God will be our share. And as he shares that with us, even the abundance of uh, the giftings that he has, or that we have in Christ, even through the Holy Spirit, will be to our reach, and that will continue the work of God that we so dearly desire to accomplish, even as we live for Him in this life. May God bless you as we go through, I mean, as we end the week, and as we start uh, the following week. See you then. Let us wind up with a word of prayer. Lord, we bless you again. You are ministering to us and encouraging us through these very gifts of service, gifts of grace, that, Lord, we hold firm to your Holy Spirit. We walk in your precious spirit that, Lord, at the end of every other thing, Jehovah, Lord, we will accomplish the, your, your line of ministry that you, Father, Lord, had ordained, had predestined for us even before the beginning of this life. Lord, we thank you because you have helped us to understand and even know that, Lord, you want us for your ministry. Now bless us together, Lord, as we go throughout the day. Until we meet again, this we pray in Jesus' holy, holy name. Amen.